Hey, what up, everybody? Uh, Steven Breach coming to you. This is the uh, countdown to the Super Bowl. I uh, told myself that I honestly was going to make this video uh, sometime last weekend, but with the whole uh, deal of the Royal Rumble, I uh, just got lost in mass confusion. And how can I not put up a Super Bowl pump up video for my own favorite football team, the San Francisco 49ers? I'm rocking the old school Steve Young jersey today. This was the first jersey that I ever bought in high school with my own money. Uh, my first jersey that I ever bought was, or the first jersey that I ever received was my mom got me a Jerry Rice jersey uh, for Christmas one year. But uh, this one I've always held on to because I, uh, you know, was bagging them groceries at Kroger and I went out and bought this jersey with the, my hard earned money. Uh, first big story breaking out of the Super Bowl this year is um, having to do with, you know, um, I guess you can say. Um, not really steroids, but just, you know, um, things that players are allowed and not allowed to take. And this whole thing about this deer antler spray with Ray Lewis. If you're a 49er fan, I want you to stop paying attention to this story. Just completely. Because the only thing I think that can come out of this is excuses. Uh, you know, um, if you know this was any other time other than the week before the Super Bowl, this would be deeply looked into and, you know, a player might be suspended if he is using something that is on the banned substance list. But since it is Ray Lewis and this is his last game, uh, the NFL will look the other way. And if they even look into this, what are they really going to do to him next year? He's not coming back. He's not going to retire. I mean, he's not going to come out of retirement. So, I mean, like, the, the, only th the only thing that can come out of this is if we lose this game, is us to be able to have a story to pick up and say, well, this guy shouldn't have been playing, so he shouldn't be in there. And this isn't Spygate or something like that. So let's just not dig us, dig us a hole uh, that we have to dig out of before we're even into it. But, um, this game's going to be a, a real good um, game. I think that um, both game, both teams have the equal, tough, real big uh, defenses. Uh, normally, you know, the 49ers are always going up against teams that you know balance us on offense, and our defense is what pulls us ahead. Of them, but um, I think these these teams are pretty well um, even all the way around. Uh, with me wearing a San Francisco jersey and a San Francisco hat right now, I'm going to tip my you know my head in their direction and say those are the guys that's going to pull it out because they're the guys that I've been a fan of for uh, 30 years now. So <laughs> uh, that that's pretty easy. Um, Colin Kaepernick is going to have to you know pull out one of his most explosive games. He's not going to have to have fear of that defense. You just gonna have to go out there and play. Um, when uh, Kaepernick has had bad games, he's it's, it's been because overthinking the defense and everything like that he has to just let his mind you know go free. Uh, find those guys out there that um, are, are awesome skill players. He has great players at each position. He has one of the best running backs in the game, and Frank Gore right behind him. Uh, he's got a guy on. Um, uh, Crabtree, which has really came out this year. Uh, you got Randy Moss, one of the greatest receivers of all time. I said one of, uh, unlike him. I just Randy Moss kept his mouth shut all all year long, and for him to show up at media day and then you know pretty much call out Jerry Rice saying he's the best of all time, I have no idea why he waited to this moment uh, to start talking about how many times he gets the ball and this and that. But Randy Moss is being Randy Moss, and I'm sure he'll show up on Sunday and do the best he can. Um, the Niners' defense is really going to have to get on uh, Flacco. Uh, Flacco. <laughs> Flacco. Um, when he has his best days is when he has you know, real good protection in the pocket. I'm um, really surprised they're not making more of the, uh, the movie The Blind Side and all that. But I guess that movie was a few years ago. But this is probably the biggest game that the guys played in in a couple of years. So uh, I, I honestly thought that he'd be a bigger hit on media day and stuff like that. Uh, if you go through all the whole season, you look at the stats. This, these are you know really average teams when it comes to yards and uh, points per game and everything like that. Ravens scoring about twenty five, Niners scoring about twenty six. So I mean, all around these teams are really really well balanced. X factor of the game, I think, is honestly, I, I think if anything happens, uh, Kaepernick's going to be the guy that you tip your hat at as being the MVP. But to me, I think this is a day that Michael Crabtree really can come out and become a star. Um, He's been looking for this ever since he came out. You know, when he came out of um, uh, the draft, he was saying he was the number one uh, wide receiver. You know, he was on crutches because of his leg, and he still said he could run the 40 in under eight seconds and this, that, and the other. But, um, you know, for all the time that we've been waiting for him to get here, I think this could be the game that really just, you know, he takes two steps forward. 
Um, another guy to really watch is Delaney Walker. Uh, like I was saying, you know, we, we really have you know these real big skill positions uh, players everywhere. That you might be looking at Vernon Davis, you might be looking at uh, Moss, you might be looking at Crabtree. Um, you know, Delaney Walker is the guy that can slip through the the backfield, get get the ball in his hands, and you know you know get those quick ten yards to pick up that big first down for you. He's done it all year long for us. He's been the, the guy to watch out for. So this is gonna be real fun. Uh, I don't, honestly. Uh, my butt has to be at work uh, due to some certain circumstances. There's no way to uh, pull the switcheroo and get me out of there. Um, but, you know, we'll see what's going to happen. It's going to be a fun day. Regardless, when it goes down, I want to see the Niners holding that Super Bowl trophy over their heads at the end of the day. Thank you, everybody, and uh, I'll talk to you after the game. Peace out.